What's up guys? Welcome to Political Fight Club. I'm your host Robert Durden. Sorry I missed you guys the last couple of days. I had family in town, but we're uh, gonna go right back at it. And before that break, I think we had something like t over two months straight without a missed day. So I'm gonna get back to it. And uh, today we're gonna talk about as many as five or six different things. So I'm gonna do a bunch of episodes. First thing I'd like to talk about is how we are seeing in real time socialism outdo capitalism and how COVID specifically is highlighting this, and particularly the vaccinations. So um, I've always said on this show, and when I debate people like Ben Cohn or anybody else in real life, that capitalism does not do well under stress. And we're seeing that right now because what a lot of people that are capitalists are also, they tend to be free market capitalists. And that's what I'm talking about specifically here is free market capitalism. If you guys have seen recently in the news, Bill Gates got some heat for basically arguing for not allowing these vaccine patents to the rest of the world so we can get herd immunity. He wants the free markets to just let it kind of trickle down to third world countries over time. And he got a lot of flack for that, and rightfully so, and I gave him a bunch of shit on a different episode. But what you're seeing, guys, now is we can seriously see the difference between how a socialist country like China right now is doing much better now that we're a year into the COVID pandemic and how the U.S. is completely floundering. Specifically when it comes to the vaccines, if you guys notice that China, because they have the means of producing and scientifically creating their own vaccine, a lot of people that are capitalists say that socialist countries don't innovate. They made their vaccine just fine. They distributed it just fine to everybody in their country. Everybody's vaccinated. And they're basically going back to business as usual. Whereas the United States is still, what do we got? 30% 30, 30 vaccination. Only half of our uh, elderly are actually vaccinated. And Biden's touting these things as enormous victories when they're really not, when you compare it to other socialized nations. Russia also created their own vaccine, the Sputnik V. And you know what those countries are doing now? They're letting their vaccines go to other countries for favors in the future. And that's particularly China. And they've been doing this with everything over the last, you know, 50 years. Um, and that's why they're catching up to us as the world's sole superpower and they will soon surpass us. So what you're seeing guys is while the United States hoards its vaccines because those vaccines are owned by corporations that are ultra capitalists that don't want to release it for the sake of releasing it and getting the world vaccinated, China is just going to step in and go, oh, don't worry about it. You don't need to worry about the U.S. We'll get everybody vaccinated. They make a whole bunch of friends by distributing their vaccine to the rest of the world for nothing and they can do so because they have a system that can produce a bunch because there is a, a capitalist element to their system it's state capitalism and they are able to make all of these countries their allies while we're simultaneously making all these other countries our enemies that in a nutshell is showing you how socialism is the correct way to go when it especially when it comes down to if we want to protect ourselves from future pandemics or any other you know global issue what socialism is proving is that it's doing the humane thing and getting everybody vaccinated as quickly as it possibly can because it's the right thing to do while simultaneously capitalism is showing you that it can't function well and nowhere near in the time it needs during a pandemic if you let the free markets decide where the vaccine goes, we fail and we can never get COVID under control. So exhibit A, guys, like I said, socialism is one of those things that produces very good results over the long term and in particularly in catastrophic times like now, like this pandemic. And if you really want to prepare for something like global warming, which is really going to be the huge issue of our generation and future generations, you can't allow capitalism and particularly free market capitalism to decide where we go because the markets don't do it quickly and they uh, capitalists auto, all, always exploit as much as they can, cut corners where they can to save money because they want to pad their bottom line and that's not a good way to prepare for the future. We're seeing it right now. So take it or leave it, guys, but that's my argument for Socialism is the way to go if we want to prepare for future catastrophe, which we are setting ourselves up for. So 
We can't leave the vaccine in the hands of these corporations. We can't leave climate change in the hands of these corporations. We have to go towards socialism or we will meet our doom. So that's what I wanted to talk about with this first episode is basically how we're just seeing in kind of um, real time and in sort of a microcosm uh, how capitalism is failing steadily and very, very quickly right now, and the socialist countries are proving that they are doing very well now that we're a year into COVID. The stats are out. The socialist nations are just doing better than us, not just in terms of deaths and infection rates, but also as far as distributing their vaccines and making friends globally. So economically, they're whooping our butt. Vaccination-wise, they're whooping our butt. Health, public health care, they're whooping our butt. What else do you guys need to know? So I'll try to get at least two or three more episodes out. I have six written, so uh, we'll just see how today goes, guys. We'll see you later.